guys. Look at this just makes me happy. Look at this. I just oh I love this. Um gosh, there's so much in this. But um there is a collage pack for this. There's three vintage wallpapers. I used absolutely everything I think that I had. So it'll be listed, there'll be a link, there'll be all of that. Um, but I used vintage wallpaper and then some, I have a page of botanicals, vintage botanicals, and um, a couple other pages from, from this book, no, wrong book, sorry, hang on, from this book, from the uh, Women's Home Companion from 19... Um, I've used it many times. 1947. So a couple more pages from that. Just some really cool pieces in the background. And I get a lot of questions that ask, you know, you put all this great paper down and then you cover it all up. But that aspect of my art is what, what people are so fascinated with it because you still see all these little bits like you see this postcard here with the stamp and the vintage flower and you see the vintage wallpaper here and here and all all over the place and I kind of try to strategically place things um, when I'm thinking about the composition of my art on you know what will show through so keep that in mind as you're putting things together so that's the collage pack and then um, the butterflies were f so much fun so I had this quote in mind and I was like huh, what am I? I really liked it but I didn't know and I went to the store and, and the, on the store windows were all the and I just stopped and I was like god that is beautiful and I'm like beautiful uh -huh. So that's kind of what brought this to light. I did use some, um, I used a mo actually all deco art products um, today, um, but I used um, gesso to get my texture because I didn't want it to be super, super heavy f like with modeling paste, but I wanted something there so that they would, it would really add some additional interest. Um, so um, I used gesso for that and it was, it's just perfect. And then I, I also used um, for today's project um, antiquing creams by um, DecoArt. I don't have them all out here. I, it, it was a whirlwind. When this starts coming, sometimes when art comes, it's just like it's, the ideas are coming and you can't, it's this fast and furious. But these were the antiquing creams, um, titanium white, raw umber, um, gray, and then I also used the patina cream. So a little bit of everything. Um, but I just love it. And then tons of stencils for today's project too. So let me see if I can find them all. Um, number stencil, which is just a uh, just it's a go-to for me. And the vintage quatrefoil. Those two I use probably the most. Um, of every of any of my stencils splatter stencil it's just splatter stencil is just good because you can control where you want little bits of this and that instead of um, not having the control and then um, my new this is a vintage uh, papers 2 one it's got the postcard on it it's just enough to add that mm, so like the postcards show through here, maybe I want something just a little bit more, you know, additional. Ah, so good. Um, and then I used, this is vintage postage too, um, for all my little doodhickey things here. This is vintage papers, one, I told you it was a lot, a lot of stencils. But just the little bits and pieces here and there are what it you know you you like okay what what does it need what does it need what does it need oh and I use the scribbles stencil I don't even know what I did with it where it went to I don't know scribbles stenciled they'll all be listed this is backgrounds one or two I don't know and the reason I use this is because you saw me do the drips but um, 
I wanted them more pronounced and that's why I created this is because sometimes the drips they're they're awesome and they're there but they kind of slowly dissipate and so I wanted them to be just a little bit more pronounced and then of course the butterfly um, let it fly stencil um, I think that's let it fly um, for all the butterfly patterns um, so and then this is again my tissue paper technique so I think that is it that is all there is a lot to this piece oh and this is a large piece this is 18 by <laughs> 18 by 12 12 by 18 yeah so nice big piece it's gonna go on the wall so this quote is just um, perfect for, for me right now um, in the place that I'm at. And that's always where I create from. But it says, we are constantly and quietly being filled. The trick is knowing how to tip ourselves over and let the beautiful stuff out. And for me, what this meant for me this week and what I needed to hear from this this week was that... Um, we don't realize that we're, we're, there are so many beautiful things and um, things that we need to be grateful for that fill our lives and that we're not, we don't even notice. We don't even take notice. We don't say thank you. We don't. It's just part of our world. Our children are beautiful. Our, our relationships are beautiful. The fact that we have shelter is beautiful. All of these wonderful, wonderful things that we have to be grateful for, we just so often don't even acknowledge them or say thank you to God or the universe or whatever but just be grateful and that's that feeling when we when we realize how, how blessed we are how much we have in comparison to the world and other countries and um, how blessed we really are and then on the other side of that is also in our worlds we're so busy and there's just sometimes there's like this pride thing in being um, miserable I, I, I don't know how else to say it but like you know I've had a hard day oh I had a hard day that my boss was this and and people like that that drama and that that misery like misery loves company and we forget to be happy we forget to take all of the blessings that we have, all of the great stuff that we are filled with daily, that we are so lucky and so blessed to have a roof and food and love and, and all of those things. Um, but how grateful we are to have all of this and then let it spill out and create beautiful things and create hugs and create love and create um, service to be able to give to others taking everything that we have that is awesome and amazing in our lives and spilling it out and giving it back and inspiring and encouraging and loving and stepping outside of our comfort zone to help others to help others um, find the beauty in their lives that's what this means to me and I needed that this week I needed that pause when because the schedule is nuts from here on out the season and selling and everything and I needed that pause to take inventory and realize oh my gosh I have so much so much to be grateful for and then to spill out and give it back and to volunteer. I'm checking out some volunteer opportunities and meeting together with other women and encouraging and loving and and in this space being able to inspire weekly and, and giving back what I have been so gratefully given. So that is my message for you, my friends, this week is stop and pause and take inventory of all the great things. Life isn't perfect, believe me. There's stuff that happens every single day that could, could, you know, break our spirit. But if we pause and remember how much we have to be grateful for, then we're able to give and we're able to let the beauty out and we're able to encourage and love and all of those things that are so important to our world right now to create a better and more positive 
place in our homes, work, world. All right, lovies. Have a great Sunday and always, always know that you are loved.